hello guys this is Daps. welcome to my youtube channel i want to be sharing a personal experience with you about high page and i want to give you my honest review about high page i know there's been a lot of views online about high page uh lots of people have said crazy things about high page people have recommended that high page is not an ideal web hosting and again in my few years uh, five years of using iPage, I have also seen quite a good number of people say very good things about iPage. And in all honesty, I want to give you a balanced perspective to iPage because I believe iPage should not be totally thrown away. iPage has its place. If you ask me, is iPage product a good product? Is it worth any penny you invest in it? In all honesty, my response will be a yes and a no. And that's because it depends. It depends on what you want to do and what you want to achieve. In all honesty, iPage hosting isn't meant for everybody. iPage hosting is meant for a particular set of people uh, with a particular set of projects. If you don't know if you should use iPage hosting or if iPage hosting will fit your project, this is where the real issue is. And that's where you begin to see people fuse, get angry about ipage when ipage cannot meet their demands if you want to know if ipage hosting will fit your budget or will fit your next web design you should watch this video to the end because i will be giving you the good things the bad things about ipage i have not only used ipage for a good number of years i've also been in the business of designing website as a freelance web designer and this is my official website page I have designed website not locally but globally having a clientele base cutting across the UK the United States of America sub-saharan Africa and I have quite a good number of case studies here and quite a huge chunk of my clients I have recommended I paid to them and other several other hosting I know exactly what I'm talking about and I am sincere and serious about my assessment of iPage I want to make this very clear that I am not doing this video just because I want to make a sale from you. The simple truth is that if you are considering using iPage, I will let you know how and when. And if iPage fits your budget, I have an affiliate link below that you can buy through. But I'm not doing this just because I'm an affiliate with iPage. I am affiliate with all web hosting from SiteGround to A2 hosting to Emotion hosting. All of them I affiliate myself with and I've used them at some point or the other. I'm telling you in this video when and how you should use IP. So this is not me just trying to make a sale. This is just me pointing you in the right direction. Okay, right about now, let's talk about the good things and the bad things about IP hosting that I feel you should know. Uh, so first off, let's start with the good things, yeah? I think the good things, <laughs> good things first, yeah. Definitely, the number one thing you should know is that iPage is cheap, inexpensive hosting. With $1.99 per month, you can have free domain registration, you can have free site builder, 1,000 of free template, free SS certificate, free email address, 30 days money back guarantee, 24 7 support, free domain transfer. That's amazing. With also about $500 in extras of add ons, uh, go $100 Google ads offer with $100 for Bing. Uh, that's limited to America anyway, not for anybody. So it's amazing for you to know that with this, you can get iPad hosting for $1.99. But in all honesty, you can. Uh, but that's also a bit for you to go with a three year plan. Uh, the second thing that is worthy for us to know is that they've got lots of third-party applications. If you're looking for easy drag-and-drop website builder, Hypage has got it. If you're looking for open source hub to install like WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, Pixel Post, and even Zen Photos, Hypage has got applications to solve all of this. If you're looking to even design a full-fledged e-commerce website, Hypage has got Acura Cart, Open Cart, OS Commerce, Print. Presta Shop, Zen Cart, Tomato Cart, I paid work with lots of third party applications that will be that will come in handy for you to design what kind of website you want to design. Okay, the third good thing about iPage would be 30 days money back guarantee. iPage has a no question asked 30 days refund policy, which to me is amazing. iPage gives you a free domain also for the first year. So if you ask for your refund, uh, they will take a $15 fee to cover for that 
domain for that year so that gives you confidence for you to know that ipage is not just trying to rob you off your money but it's something that it's something that you will get value for if you really want to use them so i think that's that's good enough and number four ipage has a decent low time speed for your website if you are not overboarding the server at some point some years back i started a blog called that's digital and i registered it with ipage and at the time the blog i wasn't very serious with the blog i was posting content randomly so on that blog perhaps i just have maybe 10 to 20 blog posts at the time and i did a review about ipage and this is screenshot of how ipage was helping me with speed at the time so you can see from the screen apparently i did optimize my blog at the time and my page speed score then was 80 while slow score was 91 my fully loaded time was 1.9 seconds at the time so ipage wasn't really 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 bad for me i did a, i did a test with other tools like pingdom my site loaded in about 800 milliseconds and that's amazing that's something that i felt very 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 proud of at the time then after that time eventually i really needed to now change my web hosting for that blog and i'll tell you why and that's the reason why i want to give you an honest review that at some point I paid hosting will serve you well you get good things like this at another point it would not serve you so i'll tell you the difference between both as we continue in this video and the next good thing about ipage is the uptime of ipage of 99.96 percent hostingfacts.com went as far as studying ipage putting ipage to test for 12 months from a research from 2019 that spilled even into 2020 and you can see the score here and it amounted to about 99.96 percent for me i think that's something good for a site that gives you their website at 1.99 dollars per month the next good thing about ipage is their customer support sincerely speaking i feel blown away by ipage customer support and when i mean customer support what has worked for me personally with ipage customer support is their chat forum i just find it very easy to go to their website and just chat with someone in some seconds somebody is there to talk to me and not every time they get your problem solved at some point they let you know this thing doesn't this thing doesn't exist this thing is not available we can't give you this at those point it can be annoying but the fact that you need to talk to someone, you need to chat with someone and someone is there for you to point you in the right direction is amazing. And this is something I find very, very, very fascinating. I would like, I would like to say to you that in my five years experience of iPage, I have never had to call iPage before. All I have done with iPage is for me to go through their chat forum and I've always been fine doing that. If you are new to WordPress, you are new to web design and you don't really know a lot of things, you need support, you need somebody to help you, then iPage support is somewhere to run to. Those are the highlights for me about some of the things I found very, very good with iPage. Now I think it's that time we come to the not too good things about iPage. One not too good thing about iPage that, that comes to me starts from when you are trying to even buy the hosting account and that's the first thing I want to talk about first lot of extra fees and additional services it's crazy it can cringy it makes you feel terrible uh you just trying to stick with your three-year plan at the cut page they begin to add lot of extra additional services that you didn't even budget for that you didn't want to buy if you are not careful you just hit the buy now button you may even be paying beyond what you are planning to do and every other thing is costing you uh, if you want to buy privacy for your domain, you're going to pay extra. If you want to do site transfer, you're going to pay extra. iPage will claim to you that they take backup of every site. And if you ever run into an error or you need them to help you restore your website, they will charge you a whooping $150 for them to help you restore a backup of your website. That's crazy. So they charge you a lot of extra add-on if you really, really want to use their services. Their site lock support is, is charging you crazy and they can bill you $24.99 per month. Wow, that's crazy. And that can be billed up to about $900 for three years. Really? Do I need to, you already need to pay that much for me to have security on my website? I'd rather do that myself. 
so you 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 just you just you just have to get to know that that they can really really be crazy with extra fees and all of that so the the third not a good thing is site migration site migration is not free blue host that is under the same group of company the aig company we give you this for free and ipad will charge you 150 dollars for that if you are not very good with wordpress or you can't do research on how to do migrations yourself you may need to pay them an extra 150 dollars to get that done for you the next not too good thing about ipad that i believe you should consider is that they don't use cpanel uh, at some point they were using VDEC, but now they have something highly customized if you have been using cpanel for a while you might find it very difficult and strange but sincerely in all honesty it is you it is beginner friendly it is simple and i think you would love it even more if you open up your heart and i think i love the c panel of i page far even more than the c panel but the c panel can have more robust future than what you find in their c panel for me my assessment of their new platform right now is that it's still something they are working on they are not done yet a lot of features they are not working there are some things you need to get done if you are using cpanel you just know it's here there's a future there that can do that but it's just somewhere else you need to just find out yourself i believe you need to get yourself very acquainted with the platform for you to know where everything is but not to worry it's something very simple i even have a video around that that can show you exactly how you can maneuver your way you can check the description below for you to see a video I did around how to set up an I how to set up WordPress on iPage. And the next not too good thing about it is that it's really not unlimited. They tell you unlimited. If you go to your cPanel hosting and you try to check your disk usage, everything is unlimited, unlimited. But this is not really an iPage issue, it's generally shared hosting issue. And I I, I I cringe when I just visit shared hosting platforms and everything they tell you is unlimited, unlimited. But in reality, nothing truly is unlimited. So I, I like to explain this thing by telling you someone someone gives you his car for you to use. He tells you you can drive anywhere you want to drive. I'm not limiting you. You can go anywhere, go how many miles or kilometers you want to go. You, it's all yours. Have the key. But the person tells you I give you five minutes. So you, you can just imagine <laughs> five minutes already has given you limitations. But in all honesty, the person has not, tell, has not told you not to go anywhere. But just go anywhere you want to go within that five minutes. So that's exactly how it is when they tell you they give you unlimited bandwidth, unlimited hosting. iPage is really, really very careful about how you use their resources. My blog began to get traffic. I began to eat over 20,000 query calls per hour. My site started shutting down, going to WordPress. I installed it because it was disconnected from my database. And after some minutes, to come back up again. So I paid does that. So there's really, really, there's really nothing called unlimited in the hosting I page is giving you. Another not so good thing about I page is that I page make it very easy for you to join by giving you 1.99 per month. And when you're about to renew. The price just go like three times, four times more. But this is not really an iPage issue. This is something very peculiar to all web hosting out there. They just make entry level very easy for you. And who and at what point should consider using iPage? Uh, in all honesty, I would say to you that if you are looking to design, if you are looking to design a website that you're not taking too seriously if you are a student for example you are just trying to look for something very quick and easy for you to do personal stuff if you are looking to design a personal website that you're not taking too seriously if you are looking at designing a business website that you have not really figured out you are not yet a brand you are trying to build a brand then consider ipage ipage hosting will be perfect for you if you design a website newly, you register a new domain. It takes a while for search engines like Google to trust you enough to start ranking your search engines. So you you know in your first one year, two years, you might not even be ranking high on search engines for keywords that are rich that can land you money. So you, you don't need to pay huge for hosting company to give you all those future as though you can really rank because you really cannot rank you need something that is cheaper you need something that can work with you as you grow another person that can consider using ipage is someone who 
you're starting a new business and you are you have a very tight budget you are trying everything possible to bootstrap you are trying everything possible for you to to limit your expenses because at the time you are starting your business you don't have all the funds and as you grow you can begin to advance so if you are in that space then why not use ipage hosting because they will give you the best startup that you can ever have and just like me for example i started the blog i wasn't taking too serious i was busy doing other businesses and i was just writing the random articles and i hosted with ipage and my website was loading at one point in less than two seconds and everything was fine i was doing very very good with the hosting account so at the point where i began to gain traction i began to have more time for the blog i began to write extensive articles 4000 words long article i began to have 40 50 articles on that blog that web that blog began to slow down at some point those articles might not even load up to seven seconds five seconds before they load because they were too long and i began to add good pictures for seo at that time i knew it's time for me to leave my page and that's where people get to i don't know how people will honestly would want to have a blog like that that is getting good traffic daily you are aiming at a thousand two thousand three thousand blog traffic visit every day on your blog you are churning great articles up to two thousand words three thousand words on your blog or on your website and you want to leave it on the whole thing that cost you 1.99 dollars per month come on you can't you can't be joking and i i wonder how people give this kind of negative reviews you are you are using the platform for what it shouldn't be if you are very sincere and honest with yourself trust me not honestly you won't have a problem using my page so who shouldn't be using my page if you are a serious businessman you have already built a brand for yourself you have maybe large following on social media you know that if you post an article you get tons of traffic from people trying to visit it you know that you already have something sustainable you have business generating good income for you uh, please do not consider using ipage if you know you have built a brand if you know your website is highly central to your business you cannot be considering using ipage because iPage is not the best for that. Use other hosting platforms. I can recommend A2. I can recommend SiteGround. So other two hosting platforms that I know will give you the best. And I can also give you the link in the description below. iPage is not meant for you. But if you are somebody who is just starting out, who is building something new, trying your hand on an adventure, you don't know where the business is taking you, you are just trying to play around things, you are trying to work around things, you want to grow over time, then start with iPage and once you start growing, you can migrate your website to another hosting service. And gone are the days where you need to pay a developer each amount of money to get that done. With a simple plugin, you can migrate your website from one hosting account to another. I have a video even on my channel that will show you exactly how to do that done step by step. And you see a link in the description below. I think finally I've been able to let you know exactly the good things, the bad things about iPage and who and when you should consider using ipage if you are sure right now that ipage fits your budget then go ahead sign up for ipage i've even made the journey less easier for you i have a step-by-step -step guide showing you how you can buy your hosting account set up your wordpress website step by step i also have a premium course website design mastery that i have an offer for for whoever buys my hosting account so you can check that video i'll register you for free in this premium I'll, re I'll register you for free in this premium course uh, where i teach people how to set up wordpress how to gain mastery over wordpress so you can set up any website you want to do or be in the business of web design uh just by buying through my web hosting account so thank you very much for watching this video please you will see the link to my step-by-step -step tutorial on ipage and the screen right now or check the description below and finally take good use of my offer for you to get yourself a premium course just by buying through my affiliate link i hope this video is useful for you if you find it very useful give me a thumbs up and if you have any question about ipage or any other related issues you can drop them for me in the comment section below i'll be glad to give you assistance as much as possible as i can that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.